Okay, so this is a quick test of this scintillation detector that I got off of eBay. This is the Psionics Holland uh, 38B57 slash 1.5M-E1. And here is uh, running it um, with a, a, this bias network here that has um, 50 picofarad capacitor uh, to the scope on one side with the scope uh, with a 10 meg input impedance uh, a 1 meg resistor to 750 volt source and uh, the other side to the negative of the 750 volt source and then because my source is this um, electrophoresis power supply with all kinds of safety features and it doesn't like to see ground leakage uh, I, I also DC coupled the negative of the scope, the ground lead of the scope to the negative side of the bias network and you can see that we're drawing five microamps at 750 volts which would be just the bias network in the photo, for the photomultiplier tube inside here and then you can see this is on 10 milliseconds per division and you can see that's the background radiation count um, and you, you can see that this is quite different from a Geiger tube because the spikes are various different amplitudes depending upon the energy of the particle that um, is detected. Now here I have a small sample of radium-226 inside of a uh, spark gap tube, a 1B22 spark gap tube. And if I put this right next to my pancake Geiger um, uh, counter probe I get 15,000 counts per minute and it's inside this bottle but if I just put this bottle next to the scintillation counter look at this that's pretty crazy so given that there's metal and glass and everything in between the tube and the counter this is all gamma response. Take this away again. There's background and then there's with the sample. That's pretty good.